Hello and welcome to Matific. This is our beautiful student interface that you are looking at, so please make sure you have given your students their username and password. When they log in, this is what it looks like. They can go to assigned work. There is a homework, schoolwork and a parent zone. So if you have assigned work for them to do, they can complete those activities there. Or students might like to go to the training zone where they can choose what topics they would like to practice. But let's take a look at Adventure Island because it's very exciting. Students will start by completing a placement test and then activities will be assigned according to their level. And it will continue to adjust as they complete those activities. So the differentiation is accurate and it's done for you. Now let's look at the teacher interface to help you to get started. When you log in as a teacher, you might want to start by going to class management manage my students. There are lots of options here. For example, I could highlight all of my students and download their login cards again, or I could do that for an individual student. When I click that student, use the dots on the right because there are lots of options there. For example, edit student details. This is where I could fix the spelling or change the password. And did you know, Mativix available in over 40 languages. So you are welcome to change the language there to whatever one you would like. Save it and that way when they play those activities, the writing will be in their language. You can also add a new student. If you get a new student in your class, select the best method that suits you there and you can create ability groups as well which makes it nice and easy to differentiate you can select the students give it a name save it and then you will have ability groups in class management manage my classes you can adjust some of the settings so click those dots there next to your class and select manage class details if you go to advanced settings here we are scroll down you can select which features you would like on and which you would like off. Just toggle them on and off and save. All right, now I'm going to show you how to find and assign content. Go to activities and the first one is manage activities. This is showing everything I currently have assigned to my students and it's grouped them week by week. So I can see in that week there, I assigned it three activities for them to complete. Now, one little trick that you might like to know is to use these green circles. Click on it. It's a really quick way to check results. I can see who has completed the activity, who hasn't, and what their score was. And you can always download a full report by clicking that there. You can even switch to the personalized view. That's great because it's showing me all of my students, the whole class in a grid, all in one go. So a reminder that was in activities, manage activities. Now if I go to find activities, this is where I can find content and assign it. You all have access to every year level. So I might be looking for some year one content, simply choose a topic. I'm going to pick addition today and there are all of my sub topics. Now this topic here, it says there are seven activities. So my fast, easy way to assign those is simply click a Assign, and it will assign all seven activities to my whole class. But remember, I did set up ability groups. So if I just wanted to go to my extension students, I would flick over to extension. You can even assign to an individual student if you want to. If I assign that now, all seven would go to that student. But on whole class, everybody gets it. Now I can be more thorough and take a closer look by expanding it. There are some beautiful, we call those episodes there that I could select. I might just want to assign that one. Now when I click assign, it will automatically assign that activity to the schoolwork section for the student. However, if I click that hat, Look now, it becomes a house, so it's now been assigned to the homework section. Just to recap, I'm in activities, find activities. The other way to search, I still might want year one, but perhaps I'm going to search by curriculum. Now, Matific is in 60 countries, but it's always mapped to your local curriculum. So let's just say I'm in New South Wales, Australia. You'll see now that when I search for content, it's going to show me the outcome there. And I know those four activities, they all 
match that outcome. It's as easy as that. Now, if you see this icon here, that's called a worksheet. You can still assign it for students to complete online, but you have the option to print it as well. Now, other things you might like to do is check the reporting system. So when your students have completed a lot of activities, have a play with those to check, and they can always be downloaded onto a spreadsheet. You might want to also have a quick look at the dashboard to get an overview of how your class is going. The main thing to recap is to go activities, find activities and start assigning. Please make sure your students know their username and password so they can log in. If you require any support at all, contact your local Matific representative or contact support at matific.com. Thank you.